It's great to be here today. I want to welcome you especially to today's screening of Thirst for Power. It's an important discussion on the relationship between water and energy. Uh, so we are at a screening of Thirst for Power, a documentary regarding the nexus of energy and water. And it's part of an initiative of Smart Energy Education where we're hosting students throughout San Antonio to learn more about the water energy nexus, talk about its importance, and also hear from their fellow students on a panel. At Nimitz Middle School, we've been trying to work on building a sustainable garden, learning about how to reuse water. You know, we've been building solar panels, so a big part of it has been uh, educating ourselves and then educating people who come to that school. When I see the students uh, milling around talking about uh, just different things and knowing that they're going to learn something about the energy water nexus, it serves as a point of, of belief that they're going to be in charge in a few years. Whether it's scientists, biologists, engineers, trying to get this uh, water and energy nexus going, really going. Having knowledge of how water and energy systems work is vital because we need workforce to continue those operations into the future. But also I think that the water and energy utilities themselves are evolving and have to be uh, responsive to the needs of our planet. And in order to do that, we have to learn collectively to respect and respond to those needs um, in our communities. And in the future, our plan is to provide more renewable energy, specifically, hopefully, solar panels to communities across San Antonio. That's great. No, why solar? It's good to do this in San Antonio because San Antonio is one of the largest cities in America. It's also growing quickly. It's also in a water strained location just based on where it is in Texas. And so it's really a critical sort of place to examine the subject. But it's also a shining example of how to do it in a collaborative way. Their water and energy utilities are working together on conservation to solve some of these problems. Because our utilities are city owned in San Antonio, it means that your voice matters when it comes to water and energy issues in our city. When I see the students, I see the future. I also see the future leaders. What I would say to those students is we need you to be leaders sooner than later. Students can take leadership roles in by conserving electricity and water and it, and it starts with those simple actions like turning off the faucet, turning off the light, uh, unplugging the devices. But beyond that, I think it's that kind of ethic that needs to be the foundation of a discussion that young people, especially those who are here, have with their peers. This is a collective responsibility that we have to our planet. And in order to build that, it starts with the simple foundational things, but it has to grow to the entire community. Partnerships are extremely important in this endeavor. We in the public sector truly rely on the expertise of these private companies to come in and all of the research dollars that they put in, all of the energy that they put in, if you look at the challenges we have, it requires collaboration because it cuts across many sectors. It also needs collaboration among students and schools, industry and government. And that's why it's great to see CPS and SAWS and ITRON and the city government and the students and the schools all working together. That's what it takes to solve these problems. 